What's up, guys? Mail call. I've been waiting a while for this one. Um, if you guys have already clicked on the video, then you know what's in the box, but I haven't seen this yet, so we're gonna check it out together. Um, I don't know how many of you actually have this knife. I've been wanting this knife for a really, really long time. I don't know too much about it. Really, there's nothing, really there's nothing fancy about this knife other than um, it has the Digi Camo um, G10 scales on it. And for those of you that have been following me and Trenton, you've been watching our videos and our content, you'll know that I, I love Digicamo scales on my knives and especially uh, my um, Spyderco knives. Trenton, if you want to give them a shot, here's some of my, uh, the paramilitary. These are all the paramilitary. This is the military, military two, um, the PM two, the para three, and then even have an Endura. Um, but this one has got the FRN scales, but I think they call this like zombie green or something like that, but it's like a, a camo also. But this one right here is the Tenacious, and it's got the black blade just like all of these, except for the Endura, obviously. Every, every time I hear Tenacious, I always think of Tenacious. Yeah, the yeah, the band. Um, so here, Trinity, let's give them a shot of this. This is the box right here. There you go. Yep. And um, I'll put the I'll put the model up on the screen as well for you guys. But uh, I found this on eBay. And, eBay. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I've been uh, I've been hunting for this for a really long time. Uh, I I have in the past found some that were um, that were used. This one is brand new. And uh, brand spanking brand spanking new. And uh, Again, nothing fancy about it, nothing special about it. Um, the blade is uh, the standard uh, uh, 8CR 13 MOV. I don't know if you can pick that up right to... there on the blade. There we go, right there. So, it, you know, it's a China-made knife. Nothing special about the blade material. Um, but for those of you that um, have, the, uh, have this knife, um, it's just... A great overall um, EDC and it's a great budget knife as well now this one not so much I paid $95 for this these are hard to find and I don't know I don't know the um, I don't know the background of this knife I don't I don't understand when it was released how many they released um, and why they haven't made any more it's not available you can't get it from Spyderco so if any of you guys out there know Definitely let us know in the comments. Um, I'd be curious to uh, to know why this was uh, so hard to find. Um, it is a liner lock. It's got, uh, uh, as you can see on the scales, it's got the four-way position uh, for the pocket clip. It's got the lanyard hole there that goes through um, the, um, for the lanyard hole. So you got a hole there, but then also so that it'll fit around the pivot if you move it up here, if you want to carry it tip down, which I, I don't carry any of my knives like that. So the four-way pocket clip is essentially so you're able to carry it up if you tip want, down. Or yeah, tip yeah. Some people would want to carry it tip down, not me. That's not, uh, I just don't like carrying my knives tip down. Um, but you do have the option of that um, on all four sides, so left or right. Um, liner lock there and then i don't know trend is it picking it up where you can it's see perfect. the 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 liners have been skeletonized i don't know if you can see the holes that yes. have been cut out there I can to see kinda it. let me move it lighten up a little bit of the weight and then it is a uh, through construction there with the uh, the barrel standoffs so this is the first um the tenacious was one of the first spider coat knives that i purchased and uh it's just been a great overall uh knife I really love the action on it. It's good. Very snappy. Run, yep. Very snappy. Um, rides on um, washers, not bearings. And uh, high flat grind, just super great slicer. Very uh, great point for piercing stuff. Obviously, it's very thin. So you're not going to really be able to 
um, pry or do anything like that, uh, but because uh, you could break off the tip there. But very good for slicing. Can we show them the grind? Yeah, and it, it is a it's a full full flat grind, so all the way to the top of the knife there. Um, it's got good jimping right here on that thumb ramp, and uh, just the hole in the blade is what I love on this knife. That's what really drew me to Spyderco knives. I just really like that reverse flick on there, and um, I just I just love this knife. It, it, in my opinion, this is one of the best EDC um, carries, budget EDCs that you can get. Now the standard the standard ones with just your standard G10, um, black G10, or they've got all different colors: green, mm -hmm. a brown. They've got a bunch of different. What uh, which one do you that you like the the best term? Um, I've all I like the I forgot what the lock is on the back called. Not like a back. Oh, lock you like the like... ones with the compression locks? Yes. Yeah, I I I I do like those because your your fingers do stay out of the way whenever you're going to close the blade. Um, same. They're action, easier to close too. Yeah, and then you can just press that and drop the blade down. So it is it's a lot safer to keep your fingers out of the way uh, of the blade when you're closing it, but. Uh, I like them both. I don't. I don't think one's more superior to the other. Um, I think they're both great. Now back to the whole thing with uh, you saying that you think it's one of the best uh, EDCs. Why do you say that? Well, as far as budget. Okay. As far as price, um, some people could probably argue that the blade material could be better, um, but. I've had really good luck with this. Yeah, it doesn't hold an edge for very long, um, but it's super easy to sharpen and you can get a really, really How long uh, wicked edge on this thing. Does so the edge normally last? It just really depends on what you're, what material you're cutting. But, um, you know, if you're opening packages, you're, you're cutting, you know, cardboard boxes and stuff like that, um, it, it'll, it'll be decent. It'll do a great job of actually cutting while it's sharp because of the, uh, of the grind on it, um, and uh, I just think it's a, it's the perfect size. Um, I've got uh, you know large hands, and you can see the shape of of the of the knife there. That uh, it fits my hand great. Uh, um, it just comes out of the edge of my hand right there, just perfect. So it I think it's going to fit a lot of different uh, hand sizes very very well because of you know just the 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 design of the the shape on the handle. And I've noticed too, um, that one's a little bit more of a stout of a knife. Yeah, it's very it's very rigid. Um, so compared to a lot of the other of these you have right here, they're a lot longer of a knife. Well, these do, uh, yeah, and we can compare that. So like in, so this is the military two, and then you can see here this is the tenacious. So there is a substantial difference in the uh, length of the handle, and then also. If we open this, not very good at the left hand of doing that. Your <laughs> finger got stuck in there. But if we show the blade, um, well, actually, if we put them right at the handle where the handle ends, you've got probably a, I don't know, a good almost inch more of blade on the military too. So, um, like I said, just been after this for a really long time. Um, it's going to be a great addition to the collection and, uh, for all of you out there that maybe have never seen this before, uh, and you're like, man, I really, really think that's cool. And I'd like to have one. I'll just let you know, um, it, it's taken me a really long time to, to find one of these that are at least brand new. Um, some of you out there might know something and uh, definitely hit us up in the comments. Let everybody know if they know something about this knife or or where somebody could potentially score one. Like I said, I've been shopping eBay for a long time and finally found one. So I wanted to give all of you guys a shot at that. Uh, I've been waiting. I've had actually had this box for about a week now and have been waiting to open it and share it with all of you. Um, so now I'm going to definitely put this in my EDC rotation. Um, really looking forward to using this one. So that's pretty much all we got. Trent, anything else that you think of? Uh, yes, I did think of something. Is it a shallow carry or a deep carry? Um, so it's, it's not a deep carry. You're going to have, if you look at the pocket clip there, 
you're going to have about half an inch, maybe even more that's going to be sticking out of your pocket because of where the lanyard hole is positioned on this pocket clip. Now, uh, that's not a deal breaker for me. Pretty much all of the Spyderco knives are going to be the same, the same situation. You can see that right there. Um, that's the Endura. And then if they're all the same, even the first, the first military, which um, was cool that they changed up the pocket clips because on this one, it was only right hand carry and it was only tip down carry. You can see that that was the only option that you had got for this knife and uh, didn't bother me at all. So some of you that might be, you know, a no, no go for you, but for me, uh, it doesn't bother me at all. I think it's really cool. I like putting lanyards on my knives anyways, so I, I, it, it's not a big deal for me. Well, that's pretty much, I guess, going to do it for this episode, guys. Really appreciate all of you hanging out to the end of the video. Uh, if you haven't seen any of our other content, we'll leave some of those linked at the end of this one. You guys can uh, jump over there and check that out. And, and until the next one, thanks for watching, guys.